Welcome back! This is Maria Vega with the Open Flamenco Project, your online place to learn everything about flamenco and Spanish dance. I'm super excited to announce that I'm going to be teaching live in central London from this September 2019. So if you want to join me, just find all the details here underneath so you can book your space and join the fun of learning flamenco and Spanish dance with me. So today I have my castanets on. Just please make sure that you watch one of the previous videos where I explain in depth how to position your castanets and also how to even tie the knot that you need to play castanets. So today we are all set to start with the exercises. First thing I want to talk about is how I'm going to name the different sounds that I make with the castanets. I'm going to show you the five basic names and movements that you need to be able to play castanets. So, if you are right-handed, you can play the ria with the right, or if you are left-handed, you can do it with the left. I'm right-handed, so all my explanations will be with the right, but you can just do absolutely the opposite if you feel that playing with the left is easier for you. How we play castanets? With either these two fingers hitting in the middle of the castanet, or these two, or the four fingers scratching the castanet in what we call ria or carretilla, if we do it really fast. There's also some people that play with only the middle finger. With only the middle finger, you can choose whatever you like depending on your level of expertise. Basic movements of the castanets. P and ta. P is when we hit the castanet with the two middle fingers with the right hand. Ta is called when we do it with the left hand. Ta pi pi ta, ta pi pi ta, ta pi pi ta, ta pi pi ta. Second movement is when you do it with both at the same time. It's called pan, 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 pan. Now we have the ria which is composed of the four fingers. So one, two, three, four, five. This is called ria. Okay, and now we do it all together. Last movement I want to show you is the chin. It's when we click both together. Okay? One goes on the side and on the top of each other. I'm going to give you three basic exercises to start practicing your castanets. Okay? So now we're going to do pita ta pi. Pita ta pi. Pita ta pi, 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 pita ta pi. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Note that it's very important that you don't move your wrist, so you don't do this. This is a very common mistake and is not recommended at all. So make sure that your wrist is always in the right position. Again. Pita, tapi, pita, tapi, pita, 
Tabi, pita, tabi. Second exercise to practice your pan. So just pam pam, pam pam, pam pam, pam pam. The most important thing is that you hit at the same time with both. Pam pam, 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 pam pam. Last exercise to practice your ria. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 Are you ready to combine all of them? Okay, let's do it. Pita, tapi, pita, tapi, pita, tapi, pita, tapi, pam, 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 one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Pita, tapi, pita, tapi, pita, tapi, pita, tapi, pam, 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 one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Bonus exercise to learn and practice the chin. We're going to combine the ching with pita. So, ching pita, 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 ching pita. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Just, it would be really, really great if you could give me a like. Also remember to subscribe to my channel not to miss any of the videos that I will be uploading. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!